With an increasing trend towards digitization, computers have entered almost every industry. In the autopilot in the aircraft or a digital speedometer in your bike, computers in various forms surround us. Subsequently, programming continues to shine as a valuable skill set as we move into the new year. So why should I learn coding? Simply for many reasons. One of them, or top, is the development jobs, the freelance work, and advancing skills. Coding can lead to a software or software development jobs. Coding is the fundamental skill for job uh, jobs such as the software development. There is currently a shortage of uh, software developers uh, worldwide. So learning to code can be an easy route into an open field of work. However, it, this is not the only way coding can open up job opportunities. It open up other opportunities like uh, freelancing and for startups. For example, for small startups, hiring someone slowly to take care of coding and web design may not be the almost uh, economic and the most economic choice. Having coding as a string to your bow can key, be the key to finding jobs related to the field. Example, content creation, marketing, PR, and many more. Freelance work. Skilled coders have the ability to create their own schedule and charge a nice rate for it. Work anywhere and anytime. So, coding, it could lead to freelance work. If you are wanting to go freelance and you have or have the ability to work while traveling, coding may be the great way to get into this, as coding is a highly valued a skill at the moment many companies are willing to outsource the work this means skilled coders have the ability to create their own schedule advancing skills learn learning to code is like an exercise session for your left side of the brain and, and the, the right uh, side of the brain problem solving and, and logic are the main skills you will gain and develop so coding can boost problem solving and logic skills outside from the implica implications of coding which look good and uh, on a uh, resume uh, resume coding actually does boost the skills which are actually useful to most jobs problem solving and logic are the main two learning to code is like an exercise session for your left side of the brain coding also improves interpersonal skills so coding for most big projects tends to be a collaborative effort this means having to work as one cog as part of a great team now let's start learning about coding we will learn about the levels of programming the types of programming and the best five programming languages to learn in 2021 Let's start by levels of programming. There exist several programming languages, each with their own specific purpose and containing a unique set of keywords and syntax that are used to create instructions. We will start learning the levels of programming. Each programming language varies in its level of abstraction so it's helpful to know that each language is classified into one of two categories, the low level languages and the high level languages. Let's start by the low level languages. Low level languages provide abstraction from the hardware and are presented in the binary form, example zero or one, which are the machine instructions. Low-level languages are further classified as machine-level languages and assembly-level languages. There are two types of low-level languages, the machine-level languages and assembly languages. As the images below uh, instruct or illustrate, the source code here, you write it, there is a translation to machine code. I 
personally uh, not, uh, prefer not to learn these uh, languages because they are not uh, many uh, m m there is no um, like uh, requirements for these uh, job developers so we will learn the high level languages and advise you to learn high level languages high level languages allow us to write programs that are independent of types of, of, the, of the types of computer the high level languages are named high level because they are close to the human language and can be understood easily however they do require attention to the logic of the problem these languages are uh, and need a compiler to translate a high level language into low level language furthermore the high level language provide the following advantages we will see in the next uh, in the in the, this video but like this uh, example and this uh, uh, high level languages like java c++ uh, HTML, CSS, and these are the the coding languages that the user and the human being understand and uh, and deal with this logic. Okay, now let's take a look at the different types of programming languages. We have finished the levels of programming. We will start by types of programming and then I will advise you to the most five and the top five programming languages you should learn in 2021. We have five main uh, types of coding. The procedural languages, it provides a set of commands by segregating the programs into variables, functions, statements and conditional operators the second type of coding the lang is the functional language the language emphasizes expression and declaration over the execution of statements the foundation of the functional programming is lambda calculus which uses conditional expression and recursion to perform the calculations the the third type is object-oriented programming. This programming paradigm is based on the objects. Example, it contains data in the form of fields and code in form of procedures. OOP, object-oriented programming, offers many features such as abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, inheritance, classes, and objects. The, th the fourth type is scripting languages. All scripting languages are programming languages that do not require a compilation step and, and are rather interpreted. The instructions are written, in the, uh, written for a runtime environment. And the, the last one is logic programming. The, log the language does not tell the machine how to do uh, something but employs restrictions on what it must consider doing. Okay, if you under if there is a, a, like problems of understanding what are these, we will clarify later on, and don't worry, guys. We will uh, de dive into our important thing, which is the best programming languages for the job prospects. You should learn one of these coding languages, one or more. I'm telling you, one or more. So it's time to start coding. I have. Uh, advised you uh, and I has I, I have uh, told you about the types and the level of programming languages now let's go and learn what are the top languages you should learn in this year first one is Java if you are looking for a development based job for at a large organization Java is the language that you should learn okay so i personally advise you to start learning with uh, java because java is widely used for building enterprise scale web application also java is known to be extremely stable and so many large enterprises have adopted it if you are looking for a development-based job at a large organization, 
Java is the language is the language that you should learn. Java is also widely used in Android app development. Almost any business today needs an Android application owing to the fact that there are billions of Android user, users. This opens up a huge opportunity for Java developers given the fact that Google has created an excellent Java-based Android development framework called Android Studio. And on our YouTube channel and in this course on Udemy, there are tons of uh, tons of uh, Android Studio and uh, tutorials that we have created so you can uh, watch them and we have a standalone Java course and we are uh, publishing many videos on it so you can go to master coding uh, channel and the complete Android developer course on Udemy uh, enroll in the course and uh, start learning Java and Android Studio for development of uh, for developing uh, Android uh, for Android application and developing desktop application using Java. The second one is Python. Okay, so Python is the one of the undoubtedly tops the the list of the programming languages in the world. Python is a fast easy to use and easy to deploy programming language that is being widely used to develop scalable scalable, scalable uh, web applications it widely accepts that the best programming language to learn fast many people tell us and um, uh, and uh, put their reviews about python it is the most uh, by, uh, the most programming language that uh, it is easy to understand and easy to learn youtube instagram pinterest and survey monkey are all built in python python provide provides excellent library support and has a large developer community this programming language provides a great starting point for be beginners and a lot of startups are using python as their primary backend stack opening up a huge opportunity for stack full stack python developer okay so python is that simple it's very simple and easy to learn and best language for learning for beginners the third programming language you should learn is c c++ c or c++ is like the bread and butter of programming. Almost all low level languages system or low level systems such as operating systems, files, systems and etc are written in C or C++. Okay? So, C or C++ is the language you should learn. Why? Because it is also widely used by competitive programmers owing to the fact that it is extremely fast and stable. C++ also provides something called STL or Standard Template Library. As this library is a pool of ready-to-use libraries for various uh, data structures, uh, arithmetic operation and algorithms. The library supports the speed of language and make it the popular choice in a choice in the high frequency trading community as well. The fourth programming language you should learn in 2021 is the JavaScript. JavaScript is the front end programming language. JavaScript is widely used to design to, to design interactive front-end applications. For instance, when you click a button which opens a pop-up, the logic is implemented via JavaScript. These days, many organizations, particularly startups, are using Node.js, which is a JavaScript-based runtime environment. Node.js let developers use JavaScript for server-side server -side scripting. Running scripts server side to proceed dynamic web pages 
and content uh, and web pages contents before the page is sent to the user's web browser. So if you are looking for the, that cool tag jobs uh, at the, at your favorite startup, you should seriously consider learning JavaScript. And the fifth one is Go. Go Lang provides excellent support of multi-threading, so it's being used by a lot of companies that are uh, that rely heavily on distributed systems. So, Go is widely used in startups in Silicon Valley. However, it is yet to be adopted by Indian companies and startups, those who wish, wish to join a value-based startup specializing in core systems should master Go Lang. Okay, so uh, it's easy to moderate, to learn. It has back, uh, backed by, uh, baked by Google being a statistically typed uh, language, make it more secure, clean, uh, cleaner uh, syntax, make it easy to learn, smart documentation, ideal for building a single page application very fast as it is compiled to machine code. And many more uh, languages you can learn, but these are the top languages that we uh, we prefer and we have considered them as the most top uh, things you should learn in 2021. So finally, I should uh, I should convince you and I should motivate you to learn. You should start today, guys. It's, it's your time, it now or never, because determination, you start by determination. Coding is, a hard, is hard for people who say, I don't have enough time. You should start today. You should have the enough time. Stop Facebook, Instagram, and, uh, and, many, and many social media application and start making your determination, making your own uh, time to learn coding. I have a plan to learn in this year, algorithms, data structures, and you should make your own goal. You should put now a paper and pen and write, no, write notes. What should I learn this year? And put a, a constant schedule and start by determination to reach your goals. Practice. Guys, coding by yourself is uh, it's very important and practicing. Practicing is very important thing in the coding and learning and mastering coding. So if you, uh, I'm not convincing you to watch my YouTube videos. Go and watch uh, courses, watch anything. You should practice. You should start practicing. You open uh, uh, videos, uh, videos, courses, and whatever you need, uh, books, but start coding by yourself. You should first imitate the coding. You should clone the coding. You should write the same code in order to understand the concepts of coding and later on start by making your own apps and publishing your own apps like we have learned. So guys, practice is the key. Also planning, make a study plan. I, I, I uh, motivate you. I uh, like to take your pen, take your paper, uh, make a calendar and say, hey, I should uh, learn like two hours a day coding uh, for about three months or six months. And after these six months, I will learn another coding or I start by making real projects for me. So make your own university, your, make your own academy, make your own school. So this is the, the way that we, ha we learn, we plan, and we develop ourselves. Master coding, master coding, your, your, not your uh, uh, only solution you get, but this, I, we consider us the best thing that you will learn and helping one, over one million people to code. We have the channel, we have many subscribers, we have uh, complete courses in Android development and we are making the Java courses and we will start soon the Python and the Kotlin uh, uh, courses 
and we are developing and the and making and growing our application found on play store called master coding you can go and check it we have more than a, a 900,000 uh, subscribes and we are uh, sorry installs and we are reaching 1 million soon and we are developing developing many courses soon also be published like algorithms data structures and python html css javascript and many more so you can download our courses uh, and uh, you can enroll in our udemy courses on udemy and we are not telling you that we are the only solution but we are the best never quit make coding the best the best thing you do in life guys you are not dealing with something uh, that it is simple you are dealing with a machine you are dealing with the smart smartest thing on the earth which is the computer so you should learn its own language you should think like a computer you should talk like a computer so never quit you may have so uh, frustrated you may have some problems but you will reach your goals if you consist learn from your mistakes you will never learn coding if you don't make mistakes and learn from them guys we learn coding from our mistakes we uh, may miss the line or miss uh, some keywords in in the programming and we stopped about one month one month two months and we search make searches and we stopped on the uh, keyword one keyword and one word stopped us about two months so never stop guys learn from your mistakes search make research uh, learn every day learn and the last thing i know i should tell you that code 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 never stop keep coding thank you guys i show i hope you uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and um, uh, rate us five stars on udemy and download our application master coding and start the coding career today